Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your February general tarot reading. This is Mary and this is Sunlight Insight Tarot. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome, welcome, and thank you. So Sagittarius, we're looking at February, whatever you need to know here, all energies, most important message or messages for you. Sagittarius, someone rising Venus, male or female, a general collective reading. Please only take what resonates for you, including the signs mentioned. And you definitely can flip it, switch it when you need to, especially cross watchers. So welcome in Sagittarius. Hope you're all doing well. Staying safe and healthy at this time. Let's see what we have for you for February. Circle of Life. Hmm. Isn't that from a movie? Circle of Life. An animated movie. Okay. Sacred Mountain. So there's been some sort of obstacle or challenge uh, that was really something you had to surmount, pass over, get through. Had a very sacred message or lesson for you as well. Something to do with maybe, you know, something in your life that just kept going round and round and round and finally realizing the obstacle here, the challenge in how you needed to overcome this repeating cycle in your life. Gathering your tribe. I just to get that for Scorpio and Grandmother Earth, which is about being more stable, grounded, um, going within. It's about slow growth as well. I feel like just over this mountain here, you have all this like lush, abundant energy. Definitely here. So you're definitely um, like on the other side of the mountain now. So where you, I felt, I feel for some of you were stuck in a tribe where it, it just was like, the same tribe, the same energies, the same repeating patterns, the same things over and over and over. Now that you're on the other side of the mountain and you're in more lush, abundant energy, you could be meeting new friends. Um, maybe some of you re uh, relocated. So you could be, you know, working with new people, new peers, new friends, maybe even some new romantic interests. And you definitely are now on the other side of this big repeating cycle that you finally got over this obstacle and on the other side and now he has all this great abundance and a uh, new soul tribe that's kind of what i feel so well, let's see here let's see what's going on for you sagittarius for february hope you're all doing well staying safe and healthy at this time all right we're looking at all energies whatever needs to come out most important message and messages for Sagittarius. Everything you need to know, Sag, is down below. Playlist and list of readings I do here. I'm incorporating all the readings I was doing on my other smaller channel here. Still all the same love readings, just uh, a mixture of both. All right, Sagittarius. Well, let's see what's going on for you. Eight of Cups in reverse. Okay. Justice. So, okay. Let me let me get the whole spread out here. Devil in reverse. I like that. Hierophant. Nine of Wands in reverse. Your struggle's over. <laughs> right there. Right in the middle of your spread. King of Wands. That's you, Sagittarius. King and Queen don't matter. Page of Cups. Sincere new energies. Five of Cups. Yes, there's been loss. I clearly see that. King of Swords. Clearly, clearly seeing things for what they are. And we have the Queen of Pentacles upright. And the King of Cups. Who are all these people? I feel like you, you're you making new friends. You have new uh, work pairs. You have new romantic interests. You have a whole new soul tribe. Because we've got the King of Swords, the Queen of Pentacles... On the bottom, we've got the King of Cups. So, yeah, you have a lot of ener different energies here. So I feel like here, whatever repeating pattern cycle that you've had in your life for a very, very long time, you finally, finally climb that challenge. You're on the other side of the obstacle. You're on the other side of this big thing that was blocking you. And now... Because you kind of see all this rocky ledge and you're kind of, you were stuck in an energy, all this rocky ledge, but then finally you get that courage to climb that mountain. And this is what's on the other side. The sun is peeking through all this lush, abundant energy. There's a new soul tribe waiting for you. Finally, you've gone beyond this 
uh, what do they call that, a labyrinth? You've gone beyond this circle, this challenge. You moved out of the labyrinth, climbed that mountain. Now you have all this new energy, definitely here. So your struggles are over. Eight of Cups, so you kind, in reverse, so, so you kind of felt like either stuck in an energy or you felt like, you know, I was walking away, but then I was sucked back and drawn back, went back to the same energy, but now justice is universal law and order, balance, um, clarity, getting what we deserve, letting go of toxic energies no longer serving you, whether they're within you or around you, toxic environments, people, places, and things, your own fear, stress, worry, anxiety, the Hierophant, big level up here. So that's, you know, moral and just right thing, growing, learning, expanding, can be about faith, spirituality, religion, any of that kind of energy, being a leader. Some of you may be becoming a leader now. You may have moved on, like totally relocated. Now you have a new job, you're a leader now. You have new friends, new work pairs, new romantic interests, whole, like a whole new family, whole new tribe, whole, like a whole new life. It's basically what I'm feeling. But the, your struggle's over. Here you are in your element right here with the King of Wands, and it's upright, which is a good energy. Page of Cups. I just feel like that's new people here. Sincere. Um, and, and sometimes it could be apologies. This is just sincere, like meeting new people, sincere new energies in your life. Five of Cups here. Yeah, there, definitely there's been lost. There's no doubt about that. A lot of sadness and loss, but you see things clearly now. You could also have gotten, this could be a lawyer, a judge, it could be a mentor, it could be someone of expertise, um, giving you help, assistance, guidance, or this is just you having all that energy. Wow. Let's see, we have Capricorn, Libra, Capricorn. That could be you, uh, Sag, or it could be Leo, Taurus, Gemini, Pisces. So let's see, I want... I really don't want to delve into the past because I feel like um, you've come circle, you've completed something that's come full circle finally in this time. It's completed. So you have your justice. Some of you could be divorced um, as well. Some of you could have gotten a settlement from a divorce. Kind of seeing that with the Queen of Pentacles. But let's see, um, let's just see what else we need to know. I just see good energy overall for you, finally. You outbeat the devil you outbeat this repeating cycle page of swords you'd be learning new things growing expanding making new uh online connections networking socializing hang man so you're no longer stuck no longer stuck you're free to be who you want to be go where you want to go live the life you want to live two of pentacles you could be juggling around uh juggling a lot right now some of you may have like a whole new social life. So, you you know, you could have a new job, whole new social life, you've moved, and there's a lot, maybe still a little uh, loose ends you still need to tie up. Nine of Wands. So, this is the same card right here. One's black and white and one is re um, color. But let's see. Page of Wands. Could be something you thought a struggle was over. Something could resurface, but I don't know. Let's see. Star. It could be that, um, yes, you moved on. There could be a little bit of something here that kind of comes up from your past. And it may be very overwhelming with this Nine of Wands. Like you feel like your struggles are over. Or all of a sudden it resurfaces. You may be getting communication that you... Page of Wands, that you, Sagittarius, being a little um, overwhelmed by something. And then the star here, which is massive healing. So maybe there's one little piece that you feel like you've left behind that comes up here. And then there's even more healing. So we do have here Pisces, uh, Aquarius, two cards of Aquarius. We are in Aquarius season, and that page is you, Sag. It's on the bottom here. Six of Stars, you clearly... Some of you have moved on and physically moved as well into peace, harmony, and balance. There's the Queen of Swords, which matched the Queen, uh, King of Swords. Sometimes it's the divorce couple of the deck. I clearly see that. Yeah, something you were stuck here. You've definitely broke free from that, I feel. Ten of Pentacles could be divorced for some. I'm just saying. Three of Cups, again, you know, 
reconnect not reconnecting but um, making new acquaintances friends uh, maybe dating let's see we have here um, Libra all right so I want to know why you're feeling overwhelmed again so I wasn't expecting that to pop back up because I definitely feel like you're no longer stuck but then all of a sudden something pops back up for you and now you're feeling a little overwhelmed again so are struggling a little bit struggling with something a little bit here so let's see what is this so we have the moon and judgment something you clearly clearly maybe did not see coming um and now you have to make a really big decision about something the star again so more massive healing wow so you have the star here twice. What else? Emperor in reverse. Eight of Wands. So there's some sort of communication here and the Hermit in reverse. I'm kind of feeling like here, um, Sagittarius, something you may not see coming happens here with the moon or resurfaces for you that you need to make a big big decision about and then there's the final release and the healing from this emperor so it could be you know communication coming in from a very unstable uh, i mean this emperor in reverse is not a good energy it could be very controlling uh, just a nasty energy but i see you not really letting it affect you with the hermit in reverse it's like nope i'm not going to let this affect me i've moved on i've you know whatever this communication is i feel like or whatever this person is doing somehow it's like it's like you you can't retract your energy from it because the hermit's in reverse but yet again you're not going to let it affect you there's a little bit of healing here and a decision to release this energy for good uh some sort of nasty person here i think you're just happy in the space you're in hmm so you may have to make some sort of big decision regarding this. So I don't know if it's about finally cutting the cord with this person or something surrounding an, an energy you left, thought you left behind. There's some sort of maybe uh, something ca comes up where it could be legally or something else where you're like, oh, well, forgot this one little piece and you need to decide on this or make a decision or whatever. And I feel like you just rectify that and you're like okay well then everything is cut clear healed i moved on i'm not gonna let it affect me cutting the cords for good i moved on and i'm in my own energy and space and i'm being happy and free and that's exactly what i'm doing wow so there's definitely here six of wands in reverse seven of cups reverse strength yeah so you're going to overcome this surmount this with the strength i mean that is being strong courageous and brave healing um overcoming this seven of cups so you're not going to let it you're not going to let anyone pull the wool over your eyes either somebody may be trying to successfully make you make a decision where they think they may be pulling the wool over your eyes but you're strong here and you sense it you know it so you're not going to let that happen queen of swords yeah you're cutting this energy off for good i feel so we have libra leo and uh let's see virgo aries aquarius scorpio pisces wow Kim Cups, you're following your heart. You're living in peace, harmony, joy, love and light, tranquility, and you're just happy in the space you're in now. That's Pisces energy. All right. So, wow. Overall, it's really good energy here. Sag, good for you. All right. So let's see, Sagittarius, what else the universe wants to tell you at this time. Uh, I'm feel, just feeling like, yep, yeah, this energy is not going to come back and try to pull the wool over my eyes again. That's kind of what I'm feeling here. So I don't know if someone's making something up or it's something little and they're making it into something big and they're trying to get you back, like back into this repeating cycle. And you're like, nope, <laughs> nope, I'm not falling for that. All right. So let's see here. What else does the universe want to tell you at this time for Sagittarius? Reflect on your truth. Exactly. So you're happy where you are now. Express your joy. <laughs> you are overwhelmingly happy. That is for sure. Okay. 
tune out distraction. Yeah, this person is trying to come back to distract you. They may be jealous of you moving on and being so happy now that they want to try to distract you and draw you back into the same cycle you've worked so hard to get out of, but you're not going to fall for it. Forgive and forget. Exactly. You're like, yeah, I forgive. I forget. I'm moving on and I will not let this sway me into falling back. Yeah, you're accepting what is dead here. Um, you're not going to let this energy sway you back into a repeating cycle that you've finally broke free from. Good for you, Sag. Oh my God, excuse me. I don't even know where that came from. <laughs> All right, Sagittarius, I'm wishing you the best. Again, everything you need to know is down below. Your playlist, list of readings is down there. Again, incorporating all readings here. Same love readings, just a mixture. So wishing you the best, Sagittarius, and I shall see you next time.